it's Jeff from TELUS, and I'm here today with six quick tips to help get you back online when one or more of your devices won't connect to Wi-Fi. Now, if none of your devices will connect to Wi-Fi, don't worry. Check out part two. We've got you covered. Without further ado, let's jump into the tips. Tip number one, if you're using a computer, a phone, or a tablet, go ahead and turn it off and turn it back on again. This can usually be done by pressing and holding the power button until you get a prompt showing on the screen. Once it's back on, go ahead and see if you can connect to your Wi-Fi. Now, if you can't connect to your Wi-Fi once it's back up, we're gonna look for a feature called airplane mode. This is usually represented by a little picture of an airplane. When airplane mode is turned on, things like your cell signal, your Wi-Fi, and your Bluetooth will all be turned off. But if you turn off airplane mode, it should turn back on all of those features. Let's go ahead and give that a try and see if it works. Number two, if you're using the TELUS Connect app, be sure that the device that you're using isn't paused. You can do this by going into the app, clicking on devices, and then looking for your device. If there's only a play button beside it, it means that device is paused. Go ahead and hit play to resume its service. Tip number three, if you're still not able to connect, we're gonna go ahead and forget the TELUS network as a whole and then reconnect to it again. On most devices, you're gonna to go to internet and then Wi-Fi and then look for your Wi-Fi name. On Android, you're gonna look for a trash can. On iOS, you're gonna look for a circle with an I in it. Tap on that and then look for forget. Once you've forgotten the network, tap on it again to reconnect and enter your password. Let's see if that works. Tip number four. If you're not able to reconnect after those previous steps, it might be that you're trying to connect to the wrong Wi-Fi name or using the wrong password. In order to fix this, why don't we go ahead and try the default located on your modem. For this one here, the 3200, it's gonna be located on the side, listed as Wi-Fi network name and Wi-Fi password. Depending on which one you have, it will be either on the side on a giant sticker like this, or it might be on the top for some of our other models. Go ahead and try that default information and let's see if you can connect. Tip number five. Some of you might have two networks in your home, one ending in dash 2.4G and one ending in dash 5G. If this is you, try connecting your device to the opposite one than you're currently connecting to. Some devices like smart light bulbs or other smart devices only like one or the other. The password on this should be the same. So go ahead and try connecting your device to the opposite one than you've currently been trying and let's see if that works. Tip number six. At this point, we've checked your Wi-Fi name and password, and we've checked your device settings, and everything seems to be in order. So we're going to go ahead and reboot the modem. The easiest way to do this is to locate the small round black wire at the bottom, sometimes it's white depending on your model, and go ahead and unhook this. This is going to be your power. Wait for about 30 seconds, plug it back in, and wait for it to boot back up again. This might take up to 5 minutes, and you should see your Wi-Fi name show up again on your device once it's ready. Try connecting, and let's see if that works. All right, folks, that's all the tip I got here today. Hopefully it helped fix your internet issue. If it didn't, go ahead and check out our part two. We do have some more advanced tips that will hopefully fix it up. But if it did fix it, be sure to hit that thumbs up button so we know to keep making this type of content. And don't forget to subscribe to us here on YouTube or check out our support page over on telus.com for more great tips to make the most out of your TELUS service. Again, my name's Jeff, and thanks for watching.